guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today is day two of Ethany's hashtag 31 Days of Tarot. Today's prompt asks us what our top five tarot decks of 2019 were. So I I think people are going to interpret this differently, but some people may interpret it as the top five tarot decks they purchased in 2019 or received. Um, I'm going to interpret it as the top five that I utilized in 2019. So without further ado, let's jump into it. This one you'll probably recognize from my first video <laughs> yesterday, and that is the Cat Tarot by uh, Megan Lynn Cott. And I just, I... You know, I just really connect with this deck. I mean, I have quite a few cat decks, uh, both tarot and oracle, um, but I just really connect with the images. I don't know, maybe the personality of the deck really corresponds with my personality and my quirky style um, and the attitude of my cats sometimes. Sorry, they're not cats, they're pumas and panthers. <laughs> you know, kind of corresponds to Wally and Loki and kind of the mischief they get into and kind of what's on their brain. <laughs> so I think that's why I connect with this deck so well. But um, not only does it give me like just, I could just pick up this deck and just, you know, just read with it, like no problem. Um, but also reading for clients, like, and re just reading for others for fun. Like that's just, you know, <laughs> I had this in my bag one time and I just, um, I read for, a uh, friend of mine, her husband, because um, he had like never had a tarot reading and I was like, well, let's do a tarot reading. And uh, yeah, he really enjoyed it because this was the deck that I was using. And so he was like, that doesn't look like quite what I was expecting when it comes to tarot decks. And I was like, tarot decks look a lot of different ways. Um, my other top deck, uh, one of my top five for 2019 is the Way Home Tarot. Woo, okay. <laughs> Kind of glary, but yes, the Way Home Tarot. Hold on. Hey, there we go. <laughs> um, and this one is by Bakara Wintner and Autumn Whitehurst. <sighs> and I got this sometime in 2019. I'm really not sure when. I'm sure if I looked at my bullet journal, it would tell me. Um, but there are your backings. Kind of looks like. Kind of looks like the front actually um yeah but the simplicity the i mean you could see the the animals in here hold on let me declare that for you guys but you could see the animals in there um the humans in here i don't really think are defined it's like there's stuff that's inside the humans but there's you, you can't really tell too much gender race and all of that which i think is cool it's just kind of leaves it open to you know placing projecting yourself into the cards which is what i think you kind of should do in in tarot is you know if if you see yourself as the knight of cups you know be able to project yourself into that image and i think this deck is fantastic with that um there are a couple of friends of mine who um, I mean, they, they try reading for themselves. They're, you know, kind of still beginners, but they, um, really appreciate this deck as well. They were like, I think they could pick this up as beginners. I mean, actually, whatever deck you begin with is where you begin. <laughs> Cause I started with the Osho Zen Tarot and a lot of people would say that that's not a beginner's deck, but there you go. I, that's where I started. Some people started with Marseille. Some people started with Pip decks, like... It's wherever you start. Okay, um, the third deck of my top five of 2019, the Moonchild Tarot. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, this is by Danielle Knoll, and I have her Star Child Tarot, and I think they work really well together, but I think I just... I'm just more connected to the Moon Child Tarot than I am the Star Child. And I'm not knocking the Star Child Tarot because I do love using it too. And I do think it's beautiful as well. I just have a better connection with this deck. And maybe it has something to do with the um, ancient Egyptian, you know, symbols and kind of theme running through it. And that's just because like I've always had a thing for ancient Egypt ever since I was a kid. Like even my my uncle, like he even got to travel to go see the pyramids. Like he loves ancient Egypt. My Nana loved ancient Egypt. Like I've said before, Egypt's in my name, <laughs> my actual legal name. <laughs> um, yeah, I just... 
I'm just staring at the cards. I'm like, ah, oh, it's so lovely. <laughs> um, a good friend of mine said that my dude and I look like the king and queen of swords, which I thought was interesting. Actually, I always think of the dude as like the, the king of swords. So that's, that's funny actually. <laughs> but yeah, I love this deck. I think it's great. I don't remember how much it costs, but I know it's not cheap. So I also am very careful with it. I don't want to damage it. Actually, I'm really careful with all of my decks, uh, which is why when I trade them or give them away, everybody thinks they're brand new decks because I'm, I try to be extra careful with all my stuff. All right, number four in my top five decks of 2019 is the Herb Crafters Tarot. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my was probably my number one of 2019 yeah I, I just used it so much and I'm still using it um, not so much right now I just don't feel called to it during this time but doesn't mean I won't be called to it tomorrow or, or whatever but this is the artwork is by Joanna Powell Colbert and it was written by Leticia Guthrie <sighs> yes there are people in this deck, like in the court cards, but all you see are their hands. Um, and some people didn't like the deck because it's predominantly female and there it lacks any male um, imagery. But um, a lot of the herbs that are used in here, like in certain masculine uh, court cards, are masculine herbs. So I think there is masculinity in there, even if the the words to describe, you know, like madre and, you know, um, where was it? Was it hermosa? No. Let me see if I can find it um, just so I can, uh, like corandera, you know, that they're all feminine and female names. However, um, I don't think all the herbs in here are female. So it's got a good balance of feminine and masculine um, it's just the names that are feminine so for me I didn't see it as being one-sided as being all like a female deck I think it's got a pretty good balance and I love it and I really connect with herbs like they're my homies I talk to my plants I talk to my flowers I talk to my herbs um, whatever's <laughs> so uh, yeah I really connect with this deck and you know for me when I see it like oh seven of earth oak which male hello <laughs> um I'm like okay you know I in my brain I associate that with a ton of different things so I get more out of the reading and I think that that's fantastic hey Wally and by the way those were the backs okay so that was my uh fourth one although I said that would probably be my number one of 2019 uh Wally's trying to get inside of my pants because it's a little chilly in the house it's about 61 degrees, so that's cold for us San Diegans, and it's also cold for kittens. Well, not Loki. He's got a gigantic fur coat. Why did you just get a little coat? <laughs> okay, and then the final deck that I would include in my top five of 2019 um, comes in this little pouch, courtesy of a good friend of mine. It's got Artemis here. And that is... Ah, my 1970s Waitsmith. <laughs> it's not a Rider Waite, it's a Waitsmith uh, deck. And this was gifted to me by my uncle. This was his deck, uh, which it was gifted to him by a really good friend of his, like a best friend of his, um, who picked it up at a yard sale back in the 70s. <laughs> so basically I'm like one two three I'm the fourth owner of this deck and I love it and I love the cardstock and I love the crazy coloring and I don't know it's just got a really good energy about it maybe it's because my uncles had it for all these years um yeah I just I love it and yeah I I got it I think I received this during the summer um and I've been hooked on it ever since like I don't know <laughs> like a spiritual drug <laughs> um but yeah I I really dig this deck and I'm happy that I was able to receive it thank you Uncle Joe <laughs> all right so that's it for me spiritual homies that was my 
top five tarot decks of 2019. I believe tomorrow we get to dive into our top oracle decks uh, of 2019. So that'll be a lot of fun. I know one right off the top of my head that's going to be making it in there. Wally, do you know? Do you know? Hmm. <laughs> Wally well, might know. Anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies tomorrow with day three of Ethany's hashtag 31 days of tarot. And if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading for me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. And if you want to throw a little kitten money my way, uh, for maybe kibble, things like that. <laughs> Join that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. And I'll catch you spiritual homies tomorrow. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.